I'm Jem. And I'm Jira. And we are uni roommates who really like to wear clothes. We love fashion as well. She's very fashionable, I'm not. Okay, so this is actually Jira's room. We're going to check out our wardrobe now, which I don't really want to do because I peeked in and it's ridiculous. There are 500 clothes. And after this, we have to check out my wardrobe, which is like measly in comparison. Which is it's okay. be really embarrassing. This is my wardrobe. What do you think your personal style is like? Um, I like to try different styles, you know, depending on my mood. So sometimes I go from flowery to, you know, more casual beach wear-ish. And uh, I go from very um, preppy chic to... Uh, but secretly, I think I'm this rocker indie girl that I can pull off all the things that I see on like lookbook.nu. But obviously I can't. So I try to fulfill this inner rock chick by buying like leather jacket. This one I got from Topshop. This is nice. This is really nice actually. But what will you pair it with? Um, if I'm going for a more chic look, I guess I'll go with this. But with like black heels. Who do you think your fashion inspirations are? I love, love Annabelle Lee from Blushing Ambition. She was the one that inspired me to get this parka. She goes everywhere with her parka. So how adventurous do you think you are with your dressing? Define adventurous. Will you wear something that's like... socks and heels? No, because I don't really have that kawaii look. But Alexa Chung wears socks and heels. She's always started the socks and heels trend. Hmm, then I have to buy more heels. <laughs> oh, that wasn't what I meant at all. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Um, oh, this one I got because I was going for the very artsy fartsy look that I would wear with like, you know, a slouchy tank. Yeah, okay, moving on. Can you not just put it like this? Sorry, it has to be color coded. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm very OCD about this kind of stuff. And like, my heart shatters every time I have to take something out because I have to fold them back again. What is it? It's a top, right? Where does your head go? Oh, it goes okay. here. <laughs> Why is there a hole in your dress? This is, a hole is for where your arms go through. <laughs> sorry, I, sorry, I thought that was your bag. Why are there holes in a shirt? <laughs> no, I thought it was. I thought this was like the cut-out trend, like you know. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of the cut-out trend, do you have cut-out trend clothes? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. So unfortunately, because I don't have enough space in my wardrobe, I had to buy another rack, which I quickly filled up as well. Yeah. Back to the cut-out dresses trend. So I have one like this. Another one like this. This one was really gorgeous. The cut is amazing. This one is from the Style Diary. This is my home. As you can see, it's not very neat. Jemima is small. I'm home! And then she just like puts her stuff on a chair. Yeah, I want to introduce to you this very important wardrobe essential gadget known as the chair. Like, Look, she just dumps like her clothes. Like, I basically live off my chair. Oh. So this is my closet. It's the neatest that you will ever see. Describe your sense of style. I like very structured things. Like, okay, you cannot tell, right? Because of this. No, and this is not structured at all. Yeah, but I like structured things. All right, I have right. blazers, I wear them. But okay, yes, she, I always she, get. Jim does wear a lot of blazers. I always get scolded when I wear blazers because it's a bit hot in Singapore. So, when I want something that's uh, formal, but. Oh, so hard to I don't to want to do the heat. I wear this, it's lace. So, you don't. You know, there's a lot of ventilation, then you don't really have to deal with the, the heat in Singapore. You wear it with a dress? Yeah, but it's a bit scratchy. So you it's have a bit to wear matronly it. as well. Matronly? You just call me a nurse. I called you an old woman. <laughs> Next. Name us your fashion inspirations. I really like Shini Park, mm -hmm. who is UK fashion blogger Park and Q. Firstly, because she's Asian, and it's very difficult to find like good celebrity or like famous Asian Asian. stylists. You know, they're, all, they're all like Western. Mm -hmm. And another thing that's very nice about her is she dresses well, but without the need to reveal a lot of skin. skin. She's very big on colours. So I have like, I have this skirt I bought from Zara. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. Okay, this is Oh dear, she took out the hanger. I have this maxi I bought from the Love Bonito sale. Ah. It's like $18. Okay, so what's the weirdest thing that you've ever bought? Check this out. I paid for it. I paid a subsidised price about $45. Oh dear. It's actually my choir gown. My principal designed it. There's this running joke when we have our competitions when we are backstage. We always say that we should go up, we can go opposite after the competition and go to Crystal Jade and be like, Do you want a glass of water with that? Yeah. Okay, so what's your favourite piece of clothing? My gown. I bought it for prom. It's like, it's such a great buy, you know what? Check it out. Like, it looks like the short. You have a red one that's exactly the same. There you go. See? It's something that's similar. It's you know, it has the... But, but this one is a scoop neck while that one goes to the side. Actually, I really like this material. It is very stretchy and it's very comfy. And flattering because it flows downwards. And it's red. I like red. She likes red. Oh, what is this? It's such a waste of cloth. You know, it's, it's just those kind of clothes that you... But what if you need to go for a costume party? 
It's made of velvet and it is tiger print blue velvet. No, it's obviously not a tiger. Egg fight is a, it's leopard. a leopard. Okay, can we not talk about this dress anymore? No, we have to talk about this. Look at this. It's velvet. I bet you would look nice in it. You wanna try it on? No! Never ever. So this is where I keep all my shoes. So you have one cupboard and all these are yours. I have like shoes stuck in this thing that looks like a chair but it's really a cupboard. I have a pair of Espridios that I just got from ASBS for like $8. I really like them because they're so casual. You also look like a fisherman's daughter. They're quite nice what? No meh? No. My fra current favourite pair of Steve Madden's. They're a bit scuffed at the front though because a bit of a long story. I threw them over the a rope barrier when I was climbing over. So very long and possibly illegal, sorry. This is the one they bought online. Yeah, I bought it from a blog shop. The brand is Jojo Cat. I don't even know what it's supposed to mean. What would you wear this with? I'll just wear it with basics, I guess. Because the shoes are really, really loud. Check these out! I wore them like once and I wore them again because I was so embarrassed. You've said that phrase like many times. Said what? You bought them, wore it once and never wore them again. Maybe there's a pattern emerging. Now you've seen Drea's cupboard, which is humongous, and mine, which is very embarrassing in comparison. I hope uh, you've enjoyed this episode and uh, you know continue to watch us in the future because Jemima and I are really two different individuals. Um, and uh, you get to see uh, our different opinions on fashion, what we don't like, what we like, and uh, hopefully it resonates with you as well. Or if you want us to cover a certain topic of fashion, leave a comment in the box below and we'll try to see whether we can cover it. So we'll see you soon. Bye!